<laughs> his leg is oh, busted. I love it. <laughs> I love. I love it. Pretty real. It must be. It must be his dad. His, my dad was a hero and got killed and blah blah blah. blah. Being a hero, is stupid. Some dumb shit like that. Uh, let go of my face. Whose child is that? <laughs> Well, they kind of got thrown off of it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>What's going on ladies and gentlemen, your boy Jay Sama is in the building today and today I have a very special guest with me, my buddy Casey who goes by uh, Organic Hunter. Okay, you guys can go ahead and check out his channel. There's going to be a link in the description. Say what's up to the people, Casey. What's up, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for having me on one more time. We're looking at episode two today. Episode two, well, the real episode one, real in episode my, one. my humble opinion. Yeah, it's, uh, last week was nothing but, but flashbacks and, uh, fan service, which I appreciate. Thank you very much. And, uh... Okay, so oh, now we're getting into the villain friend. stuff. Let's go. Into the villain stuff. Yeah. Right. Is it just me or is this guy like a confirmed pedophile? Like he he definitely touches children. <laughs> he touches them and bad things happen. Oh my god. Bro, if you don't bring your big headed ass in this room so we can see who you are. Didn't they introduce? I swear to God, they brought this guy in at the end of the last season. Like. Oh through. my god. <laughs> hey, listen, girl, I'm not about this life. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I have to say, I don't think I knew anybody like this. Oh He's my god. This <laughs> kind of oh. Thing. Oh, hello. And there you go. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's like, you okay, my guy? Get your asses on the bus. My oh my god. He's just like, y'all turn it up too much on this bus. <laughs> this man, I gotta pee. <laughs> These chicks are in their 30s, by the way. <laughs> Look at this guy on the side. He's just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, she's an earthbender. Oh, okay. So, ha so happy we're right. There. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, I gotta piss. I am out of here. Yeah. Could you imagine if these were your classmates and you had some right. shitty ass quirk? Like, it's like, fuck, man. All these guys got these cool ass quirks and I'm just over here just making ice cream with my hands or something. Let me guess, there's another one and then another one. Oh, this one's a dragon. Oh, a dragon. Yeah, because that's how sugar works, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Look at this I guy. Wish. Oh my I god. Wish. I would eat all of the pie. Everybody else is kicking ass and imagine being the invisible love. girl. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll just stand here. Even Mineta's got something to do. What the fuck? Is this the red eyes black dragon or something? What the hell? Ooh, them ankles, my boy. Good job for being She's the bait. Gotta, like, you can't even, she can't yeah. even do that well because they can't really see her. Like, I love that the animation is just consistently great. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Consistently great. Oh, all right. So her nephew is going to be a, a little fucking snot nosed brat. And they're gonna teach him what it's like to be a hero at the end. I, I figured as much. Yeah. It must be it must be his dad. His, my dad was a hero and got killed and blah blah blah. Being a hero is stupid. Some dumb shit like that. <laughs> his leg is oh, busted. I love it. <laughs> I love I love it. This man's face wasn't even arranged the same I'm way. I'm surprised he made it. I figured as much. That's not entirely fair though. They they're the best in a battle kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like the invisible chick, the way she needs to go is like espionage or something like that. Yeah. So we wait till the whole event is over to acknowledge this child's existence. Well, they kind of got thrown off. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Fuck all that shit." That's gotta be. Oh my god, that's gotta be a meme. Precious Brad. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, it's not like Food Wars level food, but I mean, I'll take it. It's making me hungry. <laughs> the way they eat in anime is fucking hilarious, dude. No, it, Mineta, stop. <laughs> His fucking face. I can imagine it now. The sweet voluptuous curves, my boys. <laughs> Boy, if you don't cut this bullshit out. <laughs> His fucking face. Oh my God. Bless Ultra. <laughs> Go for gold. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about it. They haven't used it yet this year. Wow. 
Why you got that itty bitty ass towel on? Go put some clothes on, boy. You thick boy now. You can't be walking around like this. They were killed in the line of duty. I thought so. I called it typical anime right. trope. Thank typical you. anime trope. Oh, turns out it was stain. <laughs> Could have been. Ooh, fan theory. Mm. Fan theory. And they just let this little boy see his parents like that. That's fucked up. Oh, they gave him their outfits today. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, it's about to get lit. <laughs> oh shit. You trash. Oh man, I love it whenever Eraser is is in an episode. <laughs> what? No! No! It was just getting good. Oh, I'm bothered by this. The delivery. Oh, it's this chick. It's throbbing. Oh wait, hold up. You gotta say pause, bro. I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so it's a League of League of Extraordinary Villains. Gotcha. Man, this man needs lotion. Jeez. All right. Are they gonna focus an entire episode on Coda? Um. I don't think it warrants that. I don't think so either. But in the event that it does, it'll probably be like that Naruto thing, where uh. Like, you know, like in the Zabuza arc where they had like that little kid that was just like, nah, being a ninja is stupid or whatever. They're going to do that. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I highly think they're going to do that. So, so what do you think of this, this week's episode, Casey? All in all, I, mean, <coughs> I, I liked it. I appreciated this one as the first, as the, uh, the real episode one, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I liked the, uh, it was a good transition from the beginning of, of we're now moving from slice of life stuff into the very quick, okay, you, you're all pushed off this cliff and now we're, we're into it. And this is where we're going now. This is the pace that we're setting and they stuck with it. Um, the animation was, was on point. There wasn't too much of a focus on Coda and his story. That stuff was just kind of thrown in at the end. I liked it. I was happy with it. I think it was a. I, I expected a whole lot more uh, fan service from an episode with the word "pussycat" in it. I was expecting a little bit more fan service. That that's all I'm saying. That's what they get you with that clickbait title. Mm -hmm. man. I got. I got. I got, but I got baited, bro. I got baited. <laughs> so uh, I ultimately, I think the episode was great. It's nice for an actual legitimate episode one. I think it's it's very good to see that. Okay, we're going to be heading into the development of their actual powers now instead of just like, "Oh, you need to be great all around." Like, like this is really good. I want to see some people get like a nice a nice buff. I want Gravity Girl to finally get some some mm -hmm. dope shit. Like I want her to like turn out to be like her quirk is actual telekinetic powers. Like that would be that would be something that's cool. Or uh, the the invisible girl, yeah, I want her to get a buff too. Yeah, I want... she needs she needs something. Yeah, she needs something. The fact that she has to get naked in order for her, to, her for her quirk to really just just work properly, like <laughs> mm -hmm. like she needs to be able to turn other objects. Oh, invisible! That would be really cool. That'd be really dope if she could do that. Oh, uh, she, could, if she like, could like do it to other things. Yeah, if she can like make stuff temporarily uh, invisible, she could actually do it to people. Like, could you imagine like having to fight her and Bakugo at the same time? It would just be like, oh, mm, nah, mm, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, so in the, in the manga, obviously, dude with stitches on his face, he's probably the most diabolical, I assume, next to homeboy with uh, face hands, hands face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh, they're actually pretty comparable, which is why um, I, I guess necessity to like further a villain's cause. But the one thing, uh, the reason why I bring it up is I want to know, like, out of all four of these like characters that they're kind of introducing here a little bit, a little bit more than uh, they did last season, uh, who do you expect to like? Well, since you already know, who does stand out the most, and who should we pay attention to? Because there's like this big guy that looks like Zuko, who's got like burns on his face. Then you got stitches over here. Then you got some other random guy who's kind of chilling in the back. And then you got this Sandere chick who's just, uh, I don't know what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. This guy literally looks like Spike from Cowboy Bebop, but with stitches all over his face. That's it. That's what happens to Spike Spiegel. He <laughs> ends up in My Hero Academia. That's crazy, bro. It's Man crazy. Theory. Man theory. Oh my God. What's, what's good, and, when, and this is something that I really enjoy about the writing of my hero academia is that they they have um they each have a uh, their own role to play and they each have their own focus that's taken on them and i'm sure that the anime is going to do that because they typically do the manga justice 
Mm. So I think a, each and every one of them is going to get their own focus. The the girl I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I think if I'm remembering correctly, I think the the, the the girl in my opinion has a bit too much too much mm. focus. There's gonna be a lot there's gonna be a lot more on her than I would like because it's her story is like it's it seems it seems interesting at first and then it's just kinda like you you get over her quickly but then mm. she like keeps on. You know, I, I'm I'm looking forward to the rest of the season, man. I'm I'm very excited. So, uh, first of all, Casey, I would like to thank you for coming on uh, to this episode with me. That was this this is fun. We'll have to do well, it again. Thank you, thank you very much. As always, just just summer. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, indeed, just summer. <laughs> <laughs>